Senator Patrick Quinn, you briefly touched upon this, uh, then Governor Jimmy Carter at the time, heavily involved in the beginning of film here in Georgia and really what we recognize as today, the Hollywood of the South. Uh, with your own involvement in looking back at this moment in history, uh, take me back to before Carter era and the really the, the beginning years of film in Georgia, the spots that we started to see. Well, uh, you know, Jimmy Carter uh, has never been given enough credit for actually starting the Film Commission. And there's always been some disagreement as to whether Georgia was first or maybe New Mexico was first. But certainly Georgia was one of the very first film commissions in the United States. It all happened uh, through the movie Deliverance that was done in 1973. And Jimmy Carter went up uh, to where the movie was being shot and looked around like a lot of people didn't realize the amount of jobs that came with that kind of production and realized these were high paying jobs, no environmental impact. It, it, uh, it touched so many other industries, restaurants, car rentals, on and on and on. And he realized that this was a big opportunity for Georgia. And remember, Georgia was a lot different in 1973 than it is today. And he felt like this could be a real boom for the state in, in a lot of different ways, not just with economic impact, but also the amount of attention it would bring to Georgia. And he felt that it would also bring other jobs and industries that would come to the state. And so the Georgia Film Commission uh, was, was formed. And I believe Ed Spivey was at that time the first uh, executive director of the Film Commission. And uh, it took off. Uh, and then other states obviously began to realize what impact the movie industry could have in their own states. And so film commissions started popping up all over the country and it became very competitive. Uh, and truthfully, after uh, Carter uh, left office as governor, uh, the other governors really, frankly, didn't pay that much attention to it. And uh, I'm sure I don't know my history. My history was that in, in uh, 1999, uh, Governor then Governor Barnes uh, appointed me to to take over uh, and become the uh, the film commissioner for the state and form form a, a board and try to really resurrect the industry because uh, we were we had fallen from grace. I mean we had been probably number three or four at one point, and we were probably 10 or 12 uh, at the time that uh, I took over and put together this incredible board to rebuild this industry. And I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, we're talking now 50 years later since the opening of the commission and your involvement in, in that part of history. Uh, this was such a, a new concept and, and a vision and deliverance set so much confidence in bringing that to life. Uh, what are some of the conversations that you were having as you were taking this, this leap of faith and moving us into this future of film that we recognize today? Well, you know, Greg Torrey was the executive director when I took over and was a terrific, just a fantastic guy. Lee Thomas, who be, followed him, uh, wor worked as well. And I think one of the reasons we succeeded was honestly because I didn't know I didn't know anything about the business. I mean, I just plunged ahead. You know, if I probably knew too much, I probably wouldn't have been able to get our board excited and get them energized to do what we needed to get done. Um, you know, the the roadblock was that uh, we just had fallen from the kind of incentive other states uh, were offering. We didn't have infrastructure like other states had. But we did have one thing, and, and I remember meeting with Greg, and we were talking about the kind of films that were now being done. Uh, it was mostly uh, civil rights stuff. Occasionally, we get some other movie. Uh, Robert Redford was filming uh, a movie down in Savannah. But the bottom line was we had to really get out and study and figure out what it was going to take to really get the business back on track. And during my tenure uh, as film commissioner, we got the first tax incentive plan passed uh, in the state of Georgia. We wrote the second one, which has been improved upon since. We, I left the office, uh, you know, four years after I started, 
And then that second incentive plan actually uh, came into effect uh, the year after I left. And it's just been, you know, I think when I got there, we had about 170 million in economic impact for the film industry, but most of that, frankly, was music. And when I left after that first tax incentive, we were over a billion dollars. And today, you know, it's 10, 12 billion dollars. It's amazing what's happened. You actually are spot on. It is $12 billion, which from where we started in this short amount of time is uh, just massive and significant to think about. Uh, what do you think is the uh, significance of film for so many of us that connect to it on a deep and personal level uh, and how it plays out in economic impact and cultural and societal impact? Well, you know, uh, the one thing I didn't mention and, and the one thing that Georgia really had uh, back in 99 and the reason that we continue to get at least some films, we had the phenomenal airport that we have today, you know, then and now. And so it made it very easy for film crews to come in, producers, directors, to be able to come into Georgia and then also be able to go home. But the thing that people don't realize, when you make when you make a movie or you may have a television series uh, in, in anywhere around the state, uh, it affects everything. And it's clean. It's a clean industry. It's the highest paying jobs that I know of, of any industry, even from an entry level standpoint. And so it affects restaurants, it affects car rentals, hotels. And so one of the things that we had to do as we were talking about rebuilding it, we had to go around the state and educate communities about why this industry was so important. And part of the reason we did that is we wanted pressure put on legislators, frankly, to pass that first incentive. Uh, we, we wanted them to know that if they went home, they were going to have some very angry constituents. So I traveled the state uh, for, you know, for months, uh, flying all over the state, going to Rotary Clubs, Chamber of Commerces, and talking about the impact of the film industry and what benefits it could provide for communities, especially communities that were, you know, losing industries and losing jobs. And this was a way for them uh, to get a lot of that revenue back and get those jobs back. You've had a lasting impact on film here in Georgia and really across the country through your time in public office as commissioner. Uh, hearing the future that's taking hold today, the development of a project like Assembly Atlanta taking over the former General Motors assembly plant in Doraville, creating jobs, creating this immersive space for livable housing and retail and, and so many opportunities for more film to come. Uh, what goes through your head? Well, I remember sitting uh, in an ideation meeting with our board, and I remember somebody saying this, and it wasn't me. And one of the things that I will say about this is that there, there were 40 dedicated people on this board that really wanted to see this industry come back. And one of the people in the room said, what George has got to be able to be, we can no longer just be a receiver of this business. We've got to be a beacon. We've got to find a way to send out the message about how great Georgia is to do business. And that began the beginning of how we had sought to transform what Georgia was doing. What's happening with this new studio, honestly, was one of the big dreams that was laid out just in that ideation meeting. It would be a place that would have retail, it would have housing, it would have this phenomenal studio, editing, all of the things that have all come to pass is it is mind boggling, frankly, for me. And it's so incredible to see that what we were able to do in those four years uh, and how it's grown and the impact that it continues to have today. Frankly, I've been, I've been very fortunate in, in being involved in a number of businesses, but there's no doubt this is the thing I'm the most proud of in my own career. And as we look to the future with Assembly Atlanta, um, what do you have to say to film projects out there, businesses that are looking to Georgia now, recognizing it as a major uh, film landscape and, and uh, a space for them and wanting to make that move to invest here? Well, look, I'll tell you what, I, I'll, it's the same message, I think, that we delivered in uh, 1999 through uh, 2003. Uh, this is an incredible place 
to do business. It's an incredible place to make movies. We have in today incredible infrastructure, and mo some of the most talented people uh, in the industry, uh, people who come to Georgia and have ever done any production here have always wanted to come back. I had a I had a meeting early on with Robert Redford uh, back when he was about to make uh, The Legend of Bagger Vance down in Savannah. And one of the questions, because this is what I have had to learn. I asked him, you know, there's other places where you could do make this movie. Or what, why is it about, what is it about Georgia? And he simply said to me, I love coming to Georgia. He said, the people here are fantastic. They're hardworking, creative. And he said, we just have a great time whenever we come here to do to make any kind of a movie. And I think that has just held true all these years. And it's just been made even better by the kind of uh, infrastructure that has been created. But the talent in this state, it, there's no state. And it's proven by what's happened here. There's no state that can provide this amount of talent and this kind of infrastructure and locations that can look like almost any place in the world. You can come to Georgia and film the Sahara Desert, the Grand Canyon, New York City. There's not many places where you can go and have all of that and not have to leave the state to make those kind of movies.